Hey guys, what's up? Ryan here from Rocket Outdoors. For Chuk. Oh my god, guys, can you hear me? I'm Ryan from Rocket Outdoors. I am so loud. <laughs> uh, well, it's a uh, very early spring. Was it the first week, second week of spring? Yes, second. Um, we're up in the whites. There's still plenty of snow up here, as you can see. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It's probably about, I don't know, 48 right now or something. Uh, it's about a low of 40 tonight, maybe. Yeah. And uh, we're trekking out a bunch of miles into the woods. And we're going to do an overnight tarp shelter camp. So we have a bunch of food we're going to cook up and, and build, a, bears don't eat us. build a little tarp shelter. I got a shovel and stuff and do a little digging out. Let me try to do a unique fire tonight. Um, what? Suspended upside down fire. Something kind of strange. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. But uh, stay tuned, guys. Well, getting deeper and deeper into the forest. We're on like a secondary trail now. Probably another half mile or so, and uh, we start heading into the woods for another three quarters of a mile or so. We find a spot that we picked out before. Tracking through the woods, guys. Snow is still pretty deep over here. Our spot's right here, though, up on top of this hill. So we're almost there. As you can see, there's some snow up here. Well, we found our spot, guys. Um, we actually hiked in here one time looking for a place to hot tent. Um, and we stopped here and I dug a little hole. As you can see, we sat on this log here and uh, had a little fire in the twig stove and made us some lunch and stuff. Um, we found the spot. And, uh, yeah. So we just hung up our packs, as you can see. As you can see right there. And I'm gonna get some gloves on, get my saw out, and uh, get my shovel out. Move this log. I think we're gonna set up a tarp shelter right here. Um, we're looking the hill. You can see the mountains up there. Pretty cool. And um, the sun's up there too. If it was uh, not cloudy, you'd probably have a good sunset right there. But it's a little cloudy today. So I'm gonna set you up and I'll get my stuff out and start digging this out. I got my backcountry access shovel. It's pretty nice. Um, this one, you can pop the handle out. It's actually an avalanche shovel. Um, you can slide it in this way. And use it to dig like this too. It's pretty cool. You're just dragging big trees through the woods. Huh? <laughs> if you're dragging big trees through the woods. Uh. Just got the Boreal 21 uh, Agua Canyon saw. Folding saw. What? That's fine. I got a, a big section dug out here, so at least I know where the ground is and kind of what it looks like. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, set up a ridge line, put my tarp on it, so I can kind of see where my edges are going to lie and stuff before I dig this out too much. So um, I got some paracord here, and I brought uh, a big Kelty tarp. Um, it's a 12, 12 by 12, um, because I thought I was going to pour the whole time, so I wanted to bring a big tarp. He said there's some big paw prints over here. Let's go check them out. Like, this is my hand compared to this print. 
that's that's huge. Like seriously. Look at he slipped there. Yeah. Look at went over there. That is claws, right? <laughs> what the hell could that be? Dude, that looks fresh. Some coyote, maybe? It's like a dog print to me. I mean, looking at how it's bigger there. Yeah, it's bigger here and then and it's how small. it's melted, then I think there's been a little bit of melting since it's here. So it's not like it was today. Yeah, but look at that. Yeah, I know. It's pretty fresh. Pretty You're fresh. You're telling me there's no print here. <laughs> well, we haven't seen any until now. Get in there, guys. I'm just chopping up firewood like a maniac. <laughs> We're still digging this out. Uh, we got this pretty much done. I got the tarp up. It's not too bad. I buried it with snow on the edges. I'll show you. Um, I decided to leave this ridge line straight and leave the ends kind of open uh, to get a little bit of air just in case. I mean, it seems right now the wind's blowing this way, but if it ends up changing, I don't want everything blowing in there and it being trapped. So I um, kind of left the front open here. We're just going to lay in here. I think we're going to put our heads on that end and just kind of lay this way. And, uh, Make the fire pit like right here. Um, we can sit here and do our thing. Be pretty good. Uh, it's gonna show the people. Show the people what? This fish check. This is her in the saw. Yeah. It's a firewood. She's been cutting up. Not bad. Nice dry stuff. Beautiful. I'll show you what we got here so far. So this is our setup. That's it. Plenty of room in there to sleep. Walk around. And see what the back looks like. Just did the ridge line in the front. Put some wood stakes in. Buried them in the snow. And then pile the snow around that. And then I have a line tied to the center. Um, up to a tree there. And a tree here. Uh, just give it a little more pitch out. In case it does rain a little bit. So that's about it. Um, let me get the fire pit dug out. And I'll bring you guys back when we're a little further along. Well, a lot's happened. <laughs> uh, started getting darker and darker and colder and colder. So we're in a mad rush to get everything ready. Uh, went on and got some more firewood. I just sparked up the fire. Um, had some birch bark I collected on the way in, and then collected some pine branches and stuff, and went right up. So you can see the fire. Lindsay's been busy. She uh, did all the sleeping stuff set up. Maybe you can see. I'll turn it around here. Um, I folded it back. I made a little bench here that we can sit on. Um, but we got our two bivvies out there research with our bags in there. I got a little reflective ground sheet down. Oh, it definitely comes in um, handy because as I'm setting it up, the snow's falling in. So <laughs> yeah, our bags would be right, soaked. Right. Oh, yeah. So we might get a little light rain. So if there's any mist coming in or whatever, you know, the bags will stay dry. We do have down bags, um, 20 degree down bags. Well, guys, cracked a beer. We're having a bee hoppy in the Pale Hill. By uh, Warmtown Brewery. India, did I say India Pale Hale? <laughs> He'll be alright. I'll be alright. India He's Pale Ale. Too many be hoppies. <laughs> uh, just cut up some more firewood. It's starting to rain actually a little bit. Yeah. So we have to Perfect move, timing. We have to move the bench back a little bit. We'll see. But, uh, we're starting to get some good coals going, so we're starting to get some food out. And uh, I just got two. Yeah, buddy. Uh, tin foil packs with a little concoction that I've made before. Um, it's basically a kielbasa. Um, I have some little chicken meatballs in there, teriyaki pineapple chicken meatballs, um, cabbage, shredded cabbage, carrots, um, some onion, a little bit of red bliss potatoes, and I have some um, like Dijon mustard, red wine vinegar stuff. Um, sauce that I'm gonna put on it and just throw them in the fire and let them steam up and uh, Damn. it's pretty good stuff Can't so we'll get that going 
We brought two big beers, and um, we brought some whiskey. Fireball. Fireball and some Fireball. Uh, Jack Daniels honey. So we'll crack into those a little bit. Not mine. You're not touching mine. I don't like that honey crap. <laughs> you can keep your fireball. I'll have my honey. Good. Sounds perfect. It's definitely a lot of work putting Ooh, yeah. this camp together <laughs> um, in a short amount of time. Ball busting yeah. level. You know, cutting all the wood and finding wood and getting all this shoveled out and set up and you know, we didn't have a lot of time, so it worked out. And as soon as you crack that beer and plate the fire, it's all worth it, you know. For sure. No. It sounds like it, though. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> these are the best, dude. I got two of these tinfoil logs. Oh, I love tinfoil logs. This is my fave. How did you know? Guys, be hoppy. Be hoppy. Don't worry. Be hoppy. Hey, I like that. That was really clever. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, think we're silly now. Wait till the whiskey wake gets open. Uh, yeah, this no. is just from being tired over work. Yeah. It's like the first sips. It's like, I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> mm. Last time I heard that, it fell off my dinosaur. <laughs> You're so clear. The food's done. And uh, we start eating. You want to take a look? I'm going to show you here. It's kind of steamy. You can be able to see it. It's so freaking good. And it is dang good. What do you think, Pitchick? Amazing. Yeah, so we got a little log plate here. That's dang good. Mmm. Hashtag mad food. This is mad food, sure. Alright, we're gonna keep stuff in our face. You don't need to watch us. Hey, we should have ended this a long time ago. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna put you down and start dancing. <laughs> Fireball's back. <laughs> Get it. Jack Daniels, honey. Food was good. Lindsay couldn't eat all hers. No, it's Put still it back there. next to the fire, keeping it warm in case you want some later. I ate all mine barely. Whew, that was a lot of food. Yeah, you're sicko. <laughs> Fit chicks like jamming over here. Uh, 70 stop. No. We're having a great time, guys. <laughs> like, super great time. Jamming some tunes. We just cut a little more firewood. We got a great fire going. Um, it's cold outside of this little yeah. enclosure we have here. Um, it's beautiful in here. It's like, perfect. The snow is reflecting the heat back at us. It's like so warm. Um, when you go out here, it's freezing. I got my socks back on. Yeah, Life is we good. dried out Lindsay's saw a little drying rack. I put it over here, drying the gloves out and stuff. And uh, we're having a blast. It is getting late though. What time is it? Probably 10. Oh, it's probably 11 by now. 11. Yeah. 10.57. 10 10.57. Yep. 11, I win. <laughs> so we're going to let this wood burn out and head to bed. Bed. Yeah. Cheers again. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay? Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Don't smell my whiskey! <laughs> we'll get a clip of that in there. Good morning, guys. We well, just got up. It's uh, almost 6.30. Slept good. It's cold out. It's really cold. Um, nice and warm though. Fitchick's still sleeping. In a little cocoon. But uh, let's get up. 
think we're gonna try to find some little bit of dry wood. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, find some dry wood, uh, get a little fire started, stay warm, uh, make a little coffee, and wake up a little bit before we pack up and get out of here. But uh, we had a great night last night. It was fun. It was fun. It was a great spot. Really great spot. Look who's away. It's hey. Fitch. Ah. Good times. Oh, went out and got the bear bag. Uh, cut up some wood. There. Just got some hemlock, dry hemlock. I got a little fire started. Um, I got a pot of water on. Got some coffee going. Yeah, Jiva Cubes. If you guys haven't tried Jiva Cubes, good stuff. throw them and they have a little bit of sugar in them she doesn't take sugar in her coffee i don't like it i do but <laughs> it's still good for both of us they use like sugar to bind it together to make a cube so it's just a little sweet no they do have um, the um on, without sugar option yeah but it's, it's in a bag but it's, it's powder cube. yeah it's granular or whatever. but this is jiva classic really good Filled the pot up with uh, some snow, with a little water we had left in there. I got enough cubes to make one more, well, two more cups. So if I do that, we'll see. Gotta get out of here before the rain, though. Yeah, I think it's coming. Like yeah, it's looking pretty dark over there. So. Well, we're all packed up. We gotta head out of here before the rain comes. It's looking pretty dark yeah, over there. <laughs> Until next time. It's a great trip, that's for sure. Need to leave, but what are you gonna do? My post hole tracks from last night coming to fucking put the bear bag out. I'm gonna put snowshoes on. Big mistake that was. It's not funny. Yeah. Well, we're just about out of here, guys. The rain's held off for now, so I think we're gonna make it. Windy's trees cracking everywhere. <laughs> it's weird, it's sunny, and it's like hit these bursts of like really warm air and then really cold air. It's kind of cool. But uh, we had a blast. It was a quick Hell trip. Yeah. Um, I know we didn't get to film that much, quick video, but we hope you all enjoyed it anyways. Many more epic adventures to come. Oh, for sure. Um, this <laughs> season, this summer is going to be amazing. We're going to do some really cool stuff. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you all for your support. Well, Rocket Outdoors, Fitchick Adventures. See you on the next one, guys.